Hi folks, this is part 2 of the tutorial. I'll cover here the demonstration of how it all turned out. And also here's my setup on uh, how to toggle the animation when entering the volume and how to untoggle it when out of the volume. Right, so this is my Kismet setup here. So you may know how to uh, place a trigger volume touch. I've covered it in my other tutorials. Now you click on the touch nodes and connect to the in console commands. So that's when you touch the volume, you will call the do anim execute function. And when you touch it, you will call this two pan execute function. The target is all the time all players. Same thing here. Right, so remember this setup. Any problem, just post the point. Now uh, remember to set your game type uh, to the one we created, which is an in game. You can set it up right here. Game is more narrow. Now you click right here, play level from here on viewport, play from viewport. Right, uh, now we're gonna call the behind view execute function just to show a bit of uh, how it is on the third person view. Now we're gonna Render volume, just uh, type in show volumes. As you may see here, our volume is right here. Now we'll penetrate this volume right now. Right on. As you may see, the player is actually playing this animation right now. I'll take a good look here. You may notice he's dropping like a cycle. Right now, uh, we're gonna go to this volume. And the animation has stopped. Right? So there's no animation at all. Nothing. I can move. But if I go back into it, then there is an animation. And if I go out, then the animation plays a little bit and then stops uh, playing when outside of the volume. Right? So that's what I set up here. Quite simple. You can use it. Uh, for your needs, you can uh, use any animation, just remember to replace uh, why I've written drop animation that's on the code. And of course, you can use different volumes, no need for trigger volumes. You can create new volumes, extended, extending trigger volume. And uh, it's all simple, really. It's uh, just do it, need, and uh, that's it, right? Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and uh, thanks for watching.